But it's good, y'all. So you already know I'm repping. Got my skins gear on and my Wizards gear on. Um, the League Done Messed Up t-shirts will be coming soon. Will be coming soon. I have some other t-shirts um, that I will put um, the link to in the description. So definitely support the movement. Definitely support my store. I appreciate the support. Um, definitely looking for feedback, you know, so I'm going to get better with this with the t-shirts coming out. Um, but let's get to the meat and potatoes of the video. Um, Bradley Bill has been snubbed from the All-NBA team. Um, this is kind of a good thing. This is actually a good thing for uh, for the Wizards, if you look at it, because we do not owe him or he will not be eligible for the Supermax deal. This is a big deal for Bradley Bill, the real deal Bradley Bill. This is a huge, huge deal. Um, I was waiting on, on the announcement just to see if he made it. I would have been super happy and excited for Bradley Bill because I think he was deserving of the All-NBA team. Average 25 points, uh, at least five assists, and at least five rebounds per game. And he locked up defensively as well. So he was just everything that you could really ask for in this team at the age of 25 years old. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I really appreciate what he does for this team, especially being so young at the age of 25, being so such a mature young man. I go on and on about Bradley Bill, how, how great of a player he is. But, you know, if we do decide to trade him, his contract is the best, uh, most tradable contract because uh, John Wall, nobody's going to want to trade for John Wall's Supermax deal while he's injured and out basically for, for the whole next year of uh, 2020 for the 2020 season with the torn Achilles. So, you know, we'll see what happens from here. You know, we can we can still trade Brad. We can still trade him if if there's a suitor, if, you know, there is a good deal out there. Like I said, the only deal that I see us that I would pull the trigger on would be trading Bradley Bill to the Lakers for Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, and that fourth pick of the draft. That's the only pick I would. That's the only. That's the only trade I would make for to give away Bradley Bill. That's the only trade that I'm even considering. It has to be something that is going to give us something in return. I don't see any other teams that can give us something in return, and I don't really know any three-team trade scenarios that could really give us something in return and value for Bradley Bill for how good he is. He's going to be a, this is he's a two-time All-Star now. He's made the All-Star team twice in a row. Uh next year he probably will make the All-Star team again, especially with John Wall being injured. And he's he's shown that he's an Iron Man now cuz he's played 82 games in a row knocking on wood cuz he was injury prone um in the beginning years of his career. So um Bradley Bill's a great player and like I said, I would take I would take the Kuzma Ingram and fourth pick of the draft for Brad. That's the only one I'm like I said, that's the only one I would consider. Because if you look at the team makeup, I already said in my mock draft video, if you've already seen that one, um, the starting five would be um, Kyle Kuzma, Thomas Bryant, Dwight Howard, or with the ninth, and we still have, we would still have our ninth pick. So we would have two top 10 draft picks if we acquire that fourth pick of the draft from the Lakers. So the starting five would either be Dwight Howard at the center or draft Bull Bull at, with the ninth pick. And then Thomas Bryant would be our four, resign Thomas Bryant or do the extension. And at the three would be Kyle Kuzma. You would let Jabari Parker walk. He wouldn't opt into his $20 million deal. Um, maybe keep Bobby Portis. We'll see how the money looks out. But our starting five would be Tomas Sadoransky, um, Jared Culver with the fourth pick of the draft. I would pick him. And um, actually, you know what? Cam Reddish is looking so good in his workout videos. I might have to take Cam Reddish at the ninth pick or even at the fourth pick. But like I said, I don't want to get into the workout warrior stuff. I don't want to be bamboozled by Cam Reddish, kind of how, like, how we were bamboozled and how we looked at Duke. He did not look good at all. He, I mean, his numbers were 13 and a half point, points per game. And I do want to make a video personally about Cam Reddish because he's such an in, intriguing player because he can shoot the ball, dribble it tall as I don't know what. He can do it all, basically. Um, but just underperformed at Duke because, you know, he was overshadowed by Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett. So we all know how that story went. But my perfect scenario starting five for next year, if we do trade Bradley Bill, would be um, Tomas Sadoransky at the point position. Or maybe we can sign Isaiah Thomas, a free agent, to a one-year deal before John gets healthy because um, he shouldn't be commanding that much money in the market, in my opinion, after all those injuries. And then at the two-guard position would be Jared Culver from Texas Tech with a number fourth pick. And then the uh, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, maybe they would fall in line somewhere. And then at the fourth spot would be Thomas Bryant. And then at the fifth um, position would be uh, Bull Bull. So actually, you wouldn't, you, I wouldn't take Cam Reddish if we if we have Kuzma and Ingram because there's no point in getting another small forward in there like that. You might as well just have Kuzma and Ingram be those young guys, those young guns. So or like I said, we could we could um, get Bull, like I said, Bull Bull of the ninth. 
So at the fourth pick, you draft Jared Culver out of Texas Tech, the shooting guard, to replace the talent of Bradley Bill. He's you know, like I said, I'm not comparing him to Bradley Bill or saying he would replace the talent, but he would start at that two guard position. Troy Brown will come off the bench. So like I said, starting five would be uh, Tomas Sadaransky or Isaiah Thomas from the Nuggets on a cheap one year deal, one year prove it deal for Isaiah Thomas. And then at the two guard position would be Jared Culver. Uh, three would be Kyle Kuzma. Four possibly Ingram. And then five, you know, you had to battle out between Thomas Bryant and um, what's his name? Thomas Bryant, Bull Bull, and Dwight Howard. So, um, you know, it just sucks. I'm just getting the notification. Kimball Walker can get, can get paid five years, $221 million. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. Brad missed out on a good amount of money, but he's still getting paid a lot of money. Um, so it's, just, it's crazy how much these athletes are getting paid. I'm telling you, it, it is crazy, man. It is crazy. These max deals and these super max deals are out of this world. Pretty soon they're going to be billionaires off of the off of NBA contracts. Pretty soon they will be. Um, I say in about 20 years from now, the way the deals are looking, they're just getting up and up and up and up every year. So, um, but like I said, my starting five one more time. I'm going to say Thomas Sadaransky or Isaiah Thomas at the point guard position, and then Culver at the two position with the fourth round pick that we, with the fourth pick of the draft that we give them the Lakers, and then uh, Kuzma would start at the three, and then maybe Ingram at the four, and then. Um, Bowl Bowl or Dwight Howard would be at the fifth at the um, starting position. We probably start Dwight Howard and let Bowl Bowl learn and get stronger off the bench. So that would be an awesome deep stacked team with young guns that will be able to develop and get better um, for years to come. And that team would definitely make the playoffs. If the Pistons made the playoffs, then the Wizards definitely should. And Orlando Magic made the playoffs and he's the Wizards would make the playoffs with that team. So, all right, y'all, let me know what y'all think. What's, what should the Wizards do with the rebuild? Should we keep Bradley Bill or what? What do y'all What do y'all think? So now since we don't have to pay him a super max deal, I would honestly like to keep uh, Bradley Bill. But like I said, the only deal that I would make is for that Lakers pick. So let me know what y'all think. All right, hell to the Wizards, hell to the Skins. Uh, definitely check out the T-shirts. Lee Dunn messed up shirt is coming on the way. Just designed it, so be ready. All right, y'all, peace.